We're all packed up, ready to hit the road. We're off to Newfoundland for a seven day adventure overland along the west side of Newfoundland. This should be a blast. Come along and join us. I picked up Glenn in Sussex and now we're at Nova Scotia, New Brunswick border. Now we're deep into Cape Breton, heading for this big bridge. Here we are in North Sydney. This is where we parked our trucks and trailers. Welcome to the side-by-side -side parade. We're the first ones boarding the ferry. Let me tell you, we are all pumped getting ready to head off to Newfoundland. Look how big the inside of this ferry is. Whoa! It'll be full before we set sail. Here's a few shots here. Now we're leaving the North Sydney Harbour. Now we're arriving at Porto Basque, Newfoundland. It's our turn to roll off. We had a great trip over. Now we're ready to start our much anticipated trip across the island. The folks here at the terminal get all kinds of ATV traffic and we were escorted to the beginning of the trail. There's our destination for the day, Porto Basque Hotel. What a way to start a good trip. It's pouring, pouring, pouring. It actually rained so hard, it washed out one of our trails on our trip back. So on the last day, we had to make a, an illegal detour. This is going to be a fairly long video, so please stay with us. You'll be amazed, as we were, with the scenery and all the folks we met along the way here in Newfoundland. And if you like the contents of my video, please consider subscribing. It is so windy along here. There's quite a few camper trailers here. We just had to stop and get some pictures of this beach area. This looks like an old wartime station or outpost. Even though it's wet and windy, we're all still having a great time so far. actually works. 
despite the wind and rain, you have to enjoy the scenery. That's where we're staying tonight, and those uh, chalets way up on top of the hill. That's uh, Pirates Haven Chalets, at, just outside of uh, a little town called Robson. Robinson. Day three. <laughs> Looking down at the river that we crossed last night. Up tight. <laughs> I'll just check the keys in the bike room. Go. <laughs> I'm riding with Scott here, and we're going to take a run up this steep, steep hill. Maybe die. If we don't make it, well, let's have some fun. When we start down, make sure you don't aim for the bikes, that's all. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's a steep one in the middle.
And I think, and I think, uh, that was testing her. Uh, she's there. There. So that's the other part that didn't even test the bike, no. but that one tested her. Traction. Lots of ATV traffic on this stretch of the trail. First gas stop, about 175 kilometers. We stopped here for a much needed break. We got our gas tanks full and then we went and got some hot coffee and hot chocolate. Oh, was that ever good. Some snacks and maybe a drink for later on. This trail takes us into Serpentine Lake. It seems like the weather is starting to improve a bit. This is Serpentine Lake. Beautiful mountains in the back. Calm day, still a little overcast. It's just gorgeous up here. There's lots of campers up this way. They got their canoes and their movers. Gorgeous. You hear the loons just having a break, looking at the views. I see three of them out there, but they're, they're making a racket. I don't think the loons are very impressed with us being here. Mountain formations over that way are kind of Orange. And we're heading to Corner Book, seventeen kilometers to the left.
Yeah, there it is. just arrived at the Greenwood Motel, 175 kilometers for the day. Okay, one of us got to stay here until they... Yeah. Okay, can you hear me? Keep coming, or the sign shows you go left or right, go right. I honestly didn't look at the name of the street, so I just followed those signs, but there's, one, there's only one of them that shows two directions. Pick the right direction, not the left. Okay, we're going to park here somewhere and go check in. The good folks here give us underground parking for the night. There's a waterfall way down in the woods there, across the other side of that pond. Going into Cloudy Pond. We've got to get across this river now. Brian waded in almost up to his hips to go around a rock that was on the left hand side. We had to find a good path to get across the river safely. Yes, he got his feet wet. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. You'd never be able to turn that sharp. You'd never turn that sharp turn. Low gear, yeah, four wheel drive. But once you pass that sharp turn there, you can lock the front end in. Okay. Well, once you're across, you're across. You're on your own. And Scott's going to be the first one across. He's volunteered to be the guinea pig. Okay, it's our turn. Here goes Jeff and Sharon. They're going next. Hey, hey, we made it. Brian and Liz are next to the cross. Gail has the camera in hand for the river crossings. She's doing a great job here too.
now it's for Ann and Levi. Now it's Glenn and I. Last couple across is Mark and Patty. Where's he going? Here, the water was inside a little bit, but uh, we got her. Now we're back on the trail. See that bird? What? Did you see that bird that just hopped in there? No. Scott's checking out this sketchy looking bridge. Now for some four wheeling.
this looks very, very narrow and a little bit scary. Let's just take our time and try and get around it. We did it! Pretty big washrooms. Beautiful view. There's a big moose right at the tip of my finger. He's just standing there. Loman Sinkle, yeah. I don't think it'll show up on film too good, but it's 50 to 75 feet deep. Has anyone seen Scott? Look down. Look way down. And you'll find Scott. He's doing what he does well. Taking pictures. We just had a little stop here, a little rest stop, in a place called Goose Arm. This is salt water. Beautiful little spot. Very rugged. All kinds of uh, pretty little cottages along here. Beautiful little spot. This is Cox Cove. Pretty windy up here. Beautiful little fishing village we just went through. I hope we're going back down again. I just ran out of storage space on the SD card coming through there, <laughs> so I had to shut it off and wait to stop.
we're going to stop here for a little bit of a break. Afraid to use color, that's for sure. Well, that was good. Everyone had a little treat. I had ice cream. This is Cox Cove Falls. We're going to have another little break here. Jeff and Ann are enjoying the stopover. Yeah, we, we just pulled into Deer Lake. It was a long day. Up here for uh, a couple of nights. First time we've seen the sun now in four days. It's getting really warm already. It's nine o'clock, and we're about to leave this Deer Lake Motel. We will be back here. We're going to stay here another night. Then we're off to Stephenville tomorrow for our last night. They're still expecting rain. <laughs> well, what a pleasure it is this morning to be riding these trails and not get wet with the rain. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Forecast, hot and sunny. Up around 30 degrees. Apparently we can get all the way to the top of that mountain on this road. I'm looking forward to that. Well, we don't have too much farther to go. We're right up at the top of this big mountain. We'll pan around this way here and you'll be able to see what I'm looking at. That view is incredible. Got all the small ponds along the way. Big mountain over that way. It's gorgeous. There's Glenn way up there in the hill. I think he's looking for a geocache. the mountain we just came down from. This is that barren land that we could see from the top of the, the mountain. There's nothing growing up here at all. Rocks and shrubs. This is an old rock quarry. 
Looks like granite. Yeah. I thought this was kind of cute. An old caboose. This is a pretty steep hill we went up this morning. There's a big dam on the left hand side. There's the Deer Lake Dam on the left. The wind's driving this afternoon. Here we are, we're filling up at the Deer Lake Big Stop. Then we're going to get uh, rigged up after breakfast and head off to Stephenville. And from Deer Lake, we're coming back into Corner Brook. After Corner Brook, then we'll be on the way to Stephenville. We're coming into some shopping area. There's a Kent's and a Winner's. There we go, we're heading into the Walmart. I really needed a heating pad for my shoulder. Here's a nice little lake we stopped at, have a break. It's a good sized lake. There's a couple folks over there that dropped in with their side by side and having a picnic. And we're 10 miles from Stephenville, ATV friendly town. We just hit Stephenville. The sign says it's an ATV friendly town. So we're heading for our motel. Our last night here in Newfoundland, we stayed at the Dream Maker Lodge in Stephenville. The trail goes right through these sand dunes. This is where that washout was on our first day. Remember when it was raining so hard? All the brave people went for a little swim here to cool off. It was great. We thought we'd have a little bit of fun coming up off the beach area onto the trail again. What a nice little river here. We passed over this bridge on day two when we left Pirate's Haven. The weather was so bad that day, we didn't really want to stop. The weather today is perfect. Yeah, we just stopped that little bridge here along the way. Beautiful spot here, big sh sheer rocks. On the other side, look, a nice little beach to everything. Time to take a few more shots. Stop long here for another break find a place where the trees are shading us. It gets pretty thick here at times. Look at the mountains. I think
think we're going up that mountain where that tower is. I'm not sure, but I think this is called Sugarloaf. There, we're on the road now heading up to that tower. I'm not sure how much we can see today, but it is getting a bit foggy. We didn't stop here on day one because of the rain. Well, we're up at the top of that hill. Sure enough, there's the fog. There's the tower. There's the view. Well, there's the view from up here. And what a view it is. And the wind is blowing really good. This is what we see from the other side of the building. We're going in between a few big mountains here. We're just outside of Porto Basque. Heading into Red Rocks Mountain View. in the clouds and this wind is just incredible. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video. But I don't dare get any closer to the edge because it's sheer drop off. A good 200 or 300 feet. Start taking some pictures.
Sometimes those bushes there, you go in there about a foot, or a three foot drop off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well these will shorten out, but that's a sheer cliff right up there. Coming down from that hill we just come down from. And we get a complimentary tree. <laughs> We get a complimentary car wash at the uh, ferry terminal. They don't want any bugs getting across the uh, mainland on the mud. So we're all going to get a bath. <laughs> I'm next. My turn. And we're at the ferry terminal. We're all checked in, getting ready to Board. Well, she's all in the morning. What a wonderful time. Here on the beach, we get Ann and Levi, Jeff and Sharon, myself and Glenn, Liz and Brian, Gail and Scott, and Patty and Mark. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe.